Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post a new doll related video almost every single day. And in today's video, I am so, so excited because I have received the newest Penny's Box doll series to review for you guys. So these are another one of the collaboration series with Antu. And these are the Dreamlike Tea Party limited series. So they're a special limited version, which I'm learning Chinese right now and I was trying to translate this because I recognized this half and I was like, I wonder what this half says. And I was really struggling with it. So this says, um, Bai Ru Meng, and then I couldn't figure out what this said. Um, it says Xian Ding uh, Quan. Uh, that means limited series. So um, this is the Daydream limited series is basically what this is. And these are super, super cool. I've been super excited about these. And Kika Goods, which is a longtime supporter of this channel, they are a shopping website where you can buy different products from China, specifically art toys and art dolls like these. And they offered to send these to me so that I could review them for you guys. So I got these for free so that I could review them for you. And if you're interested in checking out Kika Goods, they have a Discord server for collectors where you get like sneak peeks at their newest products that I will link to in the description, as well as the website where you can get these dolls. These dolls are currently on sale. You can get the full set of six dolls, which is sealed like this. So you might get a mystery one. We'll talk about it later uh, for about $174 right now as of filming this video, but the regular re like retail price on the site is $240. But if you use my code XCanadensis for 10% off, you can get them for $156. My code is not always going to be there. I don't know. So I'm providing it. It's 10% off. It doesn't earn me anything. It just Kika Goods can track it and see how much you like my videos on these dolls and it would influence their decisions to send me more dolls. Anyway, all that out of the way, let's check out the Bai Ri Mung. Uh, Wawa? Wanju Wawa dolls? <laughs> um, I'm so excited about these. So these are little centaur dolls and they're so, so beautiful. I desperately wish that I could read what this is. <laughs> um, but Kika Goods actually, if you look at their website, the page that I'll link to about these dolls translates all of the different media things associated with the dolls, which I super appreciate. Most uh, shopping websites will not do that for you import websites specifically. And then these are the different dolls in the series. So all of these are different types of dreams. So I know one of their names is like eccentric dream. Um, all I can read is the de mung on most of these. Like I can't read most of these words, but basically like I think this one's hazy dream and Kika Goods also translates the names on their website, which is super, super helpful. And then these two are the secret dolls. So there's good morning and good evening. So this one is Zhao An, and this one is Wan An, I think. Wan An, yeah. Um, so the, the secret ones, there's two secret ones. This one, Good Morning, is seated one in 72, I believe. And then this one is seated one in 144. You can see more information about that on their website. But essentially, if you buy the six pack, you will get one of each of these unless you get a secret one. I've never gotten a secret one, but that would be the day. And they come in this packaging that can be used to like display them, which is super cute but I'm just gonna be unboxing them. So there's a little Penny's Box sticker here that's put on by the manufacturer of Penny's Box so that you know that you have gotten an untampered with set of dolls. And here we go. So on the top of the boxes, I believe that just says action figure, something like that, moving action doll or something. All right, so now let's unbox our dolls. I'm so excited. So here's the first mini package within the larger package. So you get a picture of all of your characters, you get the gorgeous, um, it's actually kind of three-dimensional and shiny. It's really nice um, picture of the main, the like main doll in the series. You get your little blurb in Chinese again, and then you get all of your basic information about the product in English and Chinese as well. And these are recommended for 15 and up, so it's pretty high, but it's cause they like, you'll see they're like strung BJDs. They're just mass produced, so pretty cool. All right, let's check them out. Okay, so we got the brown one first. So this brown themed one, which is so cute. I really like this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so again, I believe this one is Hazy Dream and I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce that one in Chinese. <laughs> um, her name, oh my gosh. Look how sweet she is. And I'm gonna be turning the camera around later so that you guys can see these dolls up closer. It looks like they fixed the tail issue from the last series, thank goodness. And the articulation just generally feels nice. So that's really exciting. She has a magnet in her back for her wings. I believe these ones also have wings. Yeah, I see them. Uh, and yeah, just in general, the articulation feels a lot better than the last series. And these are strung. So there is elastic, if you can see that, inside of their bodies. And that's how they move. And this one's strung actually really well, so I can't show you too well. 
oh my gosh okay so here she is and then the outfits on these ones are substantially substantially nicer than the previous series oh my god and the cards are sparkly because they're a limited series so each doll comes with a card her wings her extra hands which is super cool is this a double ziploc bag i don't think i've ever seen that before there's a ziploc in the middle uh and then you get an instruction sheet i docked her over that explains uh, more about the dolls and how they're compatible with other dolls specifically the ones from the Antu series but what are these i don't recognize this one that's interesting. Probably just another Penny's Box doll that I'm not familiar with. But this is cool, actually, just explaining what these Chinese art BJDs are. And then her amazing outfit, which we're going to open up three of these. And then I'll put their little outfits on them. And we'll do, like, a midway through look at all of them with their outfits on. But the outfits this series. So the last series had really nice outfits. And for the price, especially, they were really nice. But these outfits are truly exceptional. Check this out. So... They just have so many trims and details and look at the little collar and the bow on this and then she has like a little headpiece with little puff balls on it and this big amazing satin ribbon oh i'm so excited to put this on her eye even just like a tiny little ribbon running through there just how cute is that and here's a baby girl okay and they come with i think these are the same hands as last time i maybe they came with more before we'll see all right next our second box. I'm feeling that this is going to be the red one. I really like the red outfit one. All right. Just, I just thought it would be fun to guess. <laughs> okay. Then, here we go. Ooh, messing up unboxing. Come on. We got a little blue headband one. I think this is the one with the pink outfit, but the blue color scheme. Yeah, okay. There's several with a pretty blue color scheme going on, and this is one of them, so... This is the one that we got. So all of their names have the Meng in it because that means like dream, basically. Uh, so each of them has like a word that is describing. So the and then the dream. So uh, I just don't know these pretty, a lot of these words are pretty complex for my level. <laughs> I'm trying though, I'm excited. Uh, all right, let's get our baby out of here. Oh wow, so the hair on this one, all of the tails and hooves seem to be a kind of like milky translucent material. It's very pretty. It lets light through, but it's not actually see-through. And her hair is actually the same material, but there's some painted area. Oh, this is so gorgeous. So, so cute. And then let me put on her wings to show you. From this, it's like a two-tiered Ziploc. That's so cool. Anyway, um, let's put on her little tiny wings. Oh, these magnets are really strong. Look at this. Well, I don't, I can't let you feel that through the screen, unfortunately, but it's really, really satisfying. And look, her little wings and her cute little tail. And again, these actually stay in this time. The last series, the tails don't stay in. Like it is really, really difficult to get them to stay. Gorgeous doll, gorgeous doll. And then her outfit, which it has a different bow this time, but it's still a big, amazing bow. You get the instructions again, and you get the little card with the sparkles. I love that sparkly overlay. I love it. Look at her bow. So this is an organza ribbon, I believe, but it has like a really pretty finishing on the edges. And I love this little mini ribbon that they just kind of ran through. It looks gorgeous. And this isn't a sewn ribbon, by the way, like the bow. So you have to be careful not to take the bow out. Otherwise, like... It'll, it'll lose that beautiful appearance and you'll have to retie it. And then she has this one. So she doesn't have like a headpiece because hers is actually sculpted onto her little head, which is totally fine. So I'm going to put these ones here. Okay, we have one more to unbox before we reach our mid midway point or halfway point. Okay. <laughs> I can never do the tear strip. These are so cute. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, we got one of the green ones. So there's two that are pretty similar up top. We got one of those, I think. Piggy tails. Let's see. So, oh my god, she's so cute. I was like so ready to tell you the name, but I don't know. Um, I'll look up their names and tell you the names at, like later on in this video. So here's our green darling. Oh, the dress is amazing. Okay. I love how I'm like looking so closely at that one. It's like, no, just look at the doll. She's right in front of you. Okay, so her hair is not see-through, but it is like a really shiny finish to it. 
and she has pigtails sculpted on. I love the little unicorn horn. She has a pink tail and pink hooves, which the other one's tails roughly match their hair, so that's actually really cute that hers is quite different, and you can see her the articulation on these is definitely improved. Like, I know I can't, like, let you feel how different it feels, but from the first series, they felt a little bit looser and harder to play with. And when I pose them on my shelves, they fall over a lot. And these ones, like, aren't going anywhere. They're really sturdy. My cup almost fell over, but the dolls did not. Um, she's got her wings and hands, which we'll put on off camera. And then we've got her outfit. So she has another satin ribbon. Big, oh my god, her outfit looks like a really good one. Okay. We've got a big off-white satin ribbon and it's tied so, so cute. See, there's like a double bow tie for some reason. So there's like another one hidden in here. I wonder why they did that. Just to make it more bulky, I bet. So cute. And then her headpiece has the little ears attached. Oh my God. So cute. So she's gonna have that like lamb look to her. And then look at this. So the dresses, some of them have a little apron that is a totally separate piece. So you could have it just be the dress or you could also have the little apron. It's really, really nice. And I'm just shocked by how much better these ones are than the last ones. When the last ones, I was just blown away that they were able to not only, so they're an import. So what I pay is the import price for them, let's be clear. But the fact that I can get the series one which I'll, I'll link the video of those in the description if you're curious about them um i actually got to open them with my friends so it was super cool but the fact that those were the price that they were and they were as nice as they were i couldn't believe it especially because i imported them so using kika goods kika goods allows you to import them directly which is really really helpful and their prices are so good <laughs> like to have them shipped to you free shipping on a lot of the times too so so nice i love buying from them and i'm so so grateful again these were sent to me for free i have bought from them before and i've had great experiences but they are super super awesome and support the channel by sending me free products and i really appreciate it anyway i'm gonna cut away and dress up our dolls so i'll be right back we're back our three centaurs are dressed i'm actually really impressed by how easy they were to dress i didn't have to take off any of the hands which you can take off the hands to switch them out or just to change outfits it can be a little bit easier it was super easy. I didn't have to take off any body parts. I didn't have to take off the hair. I didn't have to take off the head, the hands, nothing, which normally I have to do. So bonus points for that. Also, these dresses are sewn in a way that they could easily work on humanoid BJDs that don't have a giant horse butt. So I'm really impressed by that as well. And these are so, so cute. So let me introduce you to the girls and these names are the translations provided by Kika Goods. They're not exact translations of the Chinese is what I noticed, but they're pretty good because about three of them, their name actually really just translates to something like Pretty Dream. So um, Kika Goods clearly made it like prettier, separated them a bit more. Anyway, so this is Hazy Dreams. And she is the brown color scheme one. And I will be showing them all up close later in this video, but she's so cute. I think that this is the cutest dress. I love all the trims. I love the like checkerboard texture to this little ribbon and I love the big satin ribbon on the back. The mini thing, I was trying to figure out how to attach these to the dolls and it's not super clear on the pictures actually, but what it seems like they did is they put the bow on first, which I didn't do for most of them. You put the bow on first and you use the little thin ribbon and you tie it around the body and then tie it around the back and then do a like double knot so that it'll stay in place and then you put the outfit over top of it but I found that these ones that have the apron you can just tie it under the apron and it works just fine and oh my god she's so precious <laughs> uh so that's hazy dreams and then this one is gorgeous dreams and for this one I did tie the bow under the outfit so you can see that and she's just so stinking cute she's like a very unusual one because her bow is quite different than the other two that i have so far but perhaps others in this series will be more similar to her and i i love her hair i love the way they did the hair she's so so cute and these are just so natural and fun to pose it almost feels like they're not strong bjds in a positive way because i find with strong dolls often i have trouble with like clickiness and I don't mean like literally clicky but what I mean it is it'll like jerk around because the stringing isn't done properly but these are done super super well so they move like a kind of traditional joint so very very good now I understand why people like strung dolls if they can pose like this then I agree <laughs> uh, anyway and then this one is light dreams and she's super super cute also I want to give a huge commendation for this the wings 
are such powerful little magnets that they attach super effortlessly, even with multiple layers of outfit on them. I had a little bit of trouble with this one, but I believe it's because the Velcro strip is where the wing needs to be on this one, so I just need to move it. Um, but the wings still attach. They're just a little bit weaker than the other two. Uh, but again, I think that's user error. Um, okay, so these are my ladies. They're going to sit here, and we are going to unbox the next three. Perhaps we'll get good good day or good night. Was that what they were? Good morning or good night? Um, or we'll just end up with the full series of six. I'm happy either way. All right. This one, I think, is the main girl. I think it's Warm Dreams. It is. Okay. I love this one. I think she's so, so cute. I think she was a good choice for the cover girl, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize she had that little ponytail. How cute. She has, honestly, what looks like a jester's hat on. I'll show you. So I couldn't see this little ponytail super clearly. Oh my god, she's so precious. She has almost like a fire color scheme to her, like this orange to red. It's so, so pretty. And I love the yellow hooves, the yellow see-through hooves. So here's her little card. Put it with my other little cards. And then we have our double Ziploc with the hands and the wings. And they all come with the same hands, just so you know. It's hands that are held together like this and then little heart hands. I'll, I'll show you on one of these. I will begrudgingly switch the hands out. It's not my favorite thing to do, which is why I'm so glad you don't have to do it for these, like, to put on their outfits. But it can make putting the outfits on easier. Okay, so it looks like her ribbon is more supposed to be displayed like this, where you can see the second one, because on the card you can actually see both tiers of it, whereas on the other ones... Oh, you can on the other ones too! Oh, it's supposed to make the bow look larger. Like, it makes it look like a much bigger bow. Okay, that makes sense. And then this is the one that you tie to the body with, but I wish that they were just little spindly ribbons just hanging off like that, but I could totally just add another ribbon if I can find this exact color. So this is actually a really pretty, like, almost mustardy yellow. Not quite, or not mustardy, like, kind of an orangey yellow. Super pretty. And then we have this little headband with this, like, what is that? It looks like a little, like, jester thing. It's really cute. And then her outfit... She kind of just generally has a very fun, like, not as whimsical as the others. Like, look at the little vest with the little hearts on it. Like, doesn't she just look more playful? She's really, really cute. Just looks like something that, like, a 2010s J-pop centaur would wear. Because, <laughs> um, you know, there's lots of those in this world to reference. Um, but she's super, super cute. She's our Wong, Wong uh, color-schemed lady. Kwangsa, I should say. Anyway, it means yellow. <laughs> okay, let's get into this one. I almost did the tear stroke correctly on this one and see who's in our next one. Oh, okay, sweet. This is our red color scheme, girly. So this is Dazzling Dreams. Oh my god. She looks like, when I first saw the series of these, I thought that this one was one of the limited ones because look at her. Like, she's so cute. Okay. I don't know, just something about this one's outfit and everything. She looks like one of the, like, special editions. In fact, I think the Bonnie special edition, the Bonnie are, like, these bunny dolls, which I will be reviewing soon. Or I will be uploading the review soon, anyway. Uh, they, they have, like, a limited edition dress that they released, I think, for Valentine's Day, and it looks like this one's outfit, kind of. I think that's why I get that impression. Okay, I love the dark red hooves on this one. I hope she also, yeah, her wings are also that red color. Oh, Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so she is pink color schemed with um, like pink hair and little tiny pigtails, which is so cute with these like crimson ribbons on and her dress is amazing. So again, her name is Gorgeous Dreams. Let's take her card back. Check her out. Oh my god, oh my god. So she's my favorite from the online photos, I think. Oh, her headband is similar. She's got the little like bow. Oh, there's a wire. Does this one have a wire? These have wires inside so you can actually like change the position. Oh my God, that is so impressive. I'm glad I noticed that. That is above and beyond, okay. And then we can see the dress here and I haven't been pointing this out but they, a lot of them have actual little buttons sewn on which is amazing. A little string fell off if you saw that. Uh, and then her bow is this gorgeous red color. So pretty, so, so pretty super excited to get her dressed up. I'm excited about all of them, but she was like the one that I was super, super excited about. All right, we have one more box to open. All right, in this box, we either have Eccentric Dream, which I think when I directly translated that, it was something like Weird Dream, so I definitely like Eccentric better. It's funny, like what kind of dream is that? Um, or it could be one of our limited edition ones. Most likely it's just a regular one, but we'll see. 
Let's get in here. I actually got a limited figure once. I bought a series of the Sleeping Elves for my husband off of Kika Goods, and we actually got a limited one, which was pretty cool. I think it was like the regular limited, uh, but still, oh my gosh. Okay, so this appears to be, yeah, Eccentric Dream. And I love her color scheme. She is green and purple. So there are three that have like a bluish green color scheme to them. So I wanted to see which one would stand out the most out of those. So let's see, I'm excited. Okay, so she has almost like a spearmint for her hooves and tail and most likely her wings as well. She's got little buns. So interestingly, there are more unique hairstyles. So sometimes they'll do three unique hairstyles in a series of six so that they just do two with each. But we have all unique hairstyles here. These two are very similar, but they're not the same. And I'll show you that later. I mean, all three of these are decently similar, but they're not the same. Oh, she's so cute. So, so cute. Oh, by the way, you can switch their hair and everything on these dolls. And I'll show you that when we have them up closer. Okay. Then the wings and hands. And whoa. Okay. Her outfit has like a mermaid thing going on. I didn't realize that. So she's the only other one that has a like see-through ribbon that's interesting that doesn't have like a regular like satin ribbon look it looks very mermaid to me and then her dress oh my god it's like a little nightgown and it flares out okay this might end up being my favorite we'll see what everything looks like on her so she has a little like i don't know what to call this it's like a it's like a little cardigan but it has short sleeves and this is her little headpiece Oh my god, I love that hers is a nightgown. I mean, they're dream themed. That makes sense. And she actually comes with an extra ribbon. Mm. Oh, it goes around her neck. Oh my god. That is so cute. Okay, I am super, super excited about these. I'm going to get these three dressed up and then I'm going to turn the camera around so that we can get a closer look at everyone. All of our centaurs are out of the packaging and this is what they look like. They are so cute. I really, really love the outfits. They're just exceptional compared to the original ones. I mean, the original ones are absolutely beautiful, but these are absolutely mind-blowing. The quality of them is so high. The materials they use, the construction of the outfits, it's all just really elevated from last time. There are a few things that aren't like 100% perfect, like the wings on this one, for example, because there's so many of these little layers, like this one specifically, the wings really have trouble staying on. They still do stay on and they don't fall off, but they don't stay in like the exact position that I want them to. As you can see, I put them under the vest. And then for some reason, I can't get this bow to stay nice, but I think it's because I tied it weird. Uh, so don't worry about that. That's just me. Um, but here's what she looks like. And these dolls have blushing on their little ears and cheeks. It's so cute. And she has a little headband that, again, has wire in it which is truly above and beyond and look at the little heart with bat wings hair ties so this is actually supposed to go on this side according to the artwork but i decided to put them separate because i wanted that to show it's just so cute oh her hair has glitter in it too i didn't notice that oh my god are they all sparkly i wasn't looking that close love it so this one has more of a matte finish to the hair there's several different finishes to the hair that we'll look at on all of the different dolls her bow is actually really interesting too it's some kind of fabric that was punched out this way and i know that because part of it was unpunched and i had to pull it out so that was actually pretty cute and i like the way it looks it just makes like a exact bow look but they only did it on this one all the other ones have actual little tied bows so that was definitely intentional she's got these little heart patches on her vest which are so cute and I just, I just love her. I just love her. I don't think I'm going to have her wear the little vest though, because I think on such a small doll, we lose a lot. Like the vest also made the bow start sitting funny because I had the bow a lot higher before. So I think I definitely like this one better without the vest, but I wanted to show like the full outfit for this one. So that's Warm Dream. Next, we'll take a look at Hazy Dream, who kind of doesn't match with the rest of the series in a good way though. Piece of the cardboard was still there. Um... So she has more of like a natural color scheme and most of the other ones are very ethereal. Well, there's three that are more ethereal and then there's a very like whims, or not whimsical, but like fun one, this one. And then this one's just very, I don't know, like fashion. And then this one, I don't know how to describe her. She's just very different from the other three or the other five and she's just so, so cute. So here she is. She has brown hair and I love that all of the hair, even if it's just one color, has that really nice gradient effect to it. It's really cute the way they painted it. They even did it up here at the roots. 
just shading. It's really nice. Her hair ties have these little like star shine shapes, which is super, super cute. And by the way, if you don't like the hairstyle for whatever reason, you can actually switch them out. So it's a little bit difficult to do. Let me show you on, I did it on one of the dolls already. I think it was her. Um, they come off, it's a little weird, but these dolls don't actually have a true like full head. <laughs> they have these hair pieces. This one's pretty tight for some reason, but you can change out the hair pieces like this. You can also change out the faces like this. A little bit grotesque, but it's pretty simple to do. When you first get the dolls, though, these pieces are pretty tight, so it can be a little bit tricky to do, but they, they should come apart. It just, again, it can be a little bit tight when you first get them. So, yeah. Sorry for traumatizing you, daughter. <laughs> anyway, so Hazy Dream is another one that has the big satin ribbon, and all of the ribbons are two-tiered, so you can display them in different ways. But I don't know, I just like them being like a classic ribbon shape. I think it's very cute. And the extra little thing underneath adds bulk to it. This one has the little triangle shape cut out of the bottom. I think they all do. I just love the little see-through hooves. And this outfit is ridiculous, by the way. It's so fantastic. So I tied her ribbon underneath the apron. That was the easiest. The one with the aprons, I feel like the ribbons display the best on them because you can tie it over the outfit. When you tie the ribbon under the outfit, it kind of sits funny. Like you can see on this one, it's a little bit more difficult. But I didn't want the little ties to show because they don't show on the artwork like I'll show you her ties don't show so I tied it you can also tie it around this part of the body which is honestly probably what they did um but I opted to tie it here because I wanted it to stand upward more like the wings do uh the wings stayed very well on this one as well even though as you can see there's a ton going on back here the wings really stay nicely which is very very nice I love her brown eyes I love her little like angel wing thing going on here the unicorn horns are adorable i mean and just look at this outfit you've got a trim here this apron is amazing it has the little bow on it too and you can take it off if you want to it is a totally separate piece i i didn't show that earlier with this one but it is and the this is the ribbon they used to tie the apron on which i love as well and just look at this the level of details on these is so mind-blowing so mind-blowing and they're a similar price to series one which is like actually unbelievable to me i don't know like i don't understand that anyway this one is gorgeous dream show i showed you me taking off her head earlier so i think she'll be our guinea pig i'll show you how to take off the hands now as well so because these are strung they have little hooks that hold the hands on so you can see one side of the hook there and it's a bit difficult with like adult hands i don't know um Maybe my dexterity is not the best. So you hold it out like that. It doesn't fall into the body, as you can see. So the hand basically has a little hook. And I find that the hands don't really fall off. So you don't really need to worry about that, even though it is a hook. I've never had it happen. I guess it could happen. Um, then let me show you the extra hands. So the little heart hands are so, so cute. So you can put them on like that. Little heart. So, so precious. So anyway. And then we have this one, which are like the prayer hands. These are very strange, but they're very, very nice. And you can also like put them on two different ones to have them like hold hands together. It's so cute. So, so cute. Okay. So now let me put on this little heart hand. I think the heart hand can also just be like a pretty ballerina posed type hand, which is what I'm going to be doing here. Um, again, it's a little tricky, at least for me, especially because my nail broke uh, to get these hands on, but... You just slide it over the hook. Usually I like to use some kind of tool, but you don't need to. And there you go. It's not wanting to get back in. There we go. Sorry, y'all. I pulled the string a little loose, so it wasn't um, behaving correctly, but now it is. So I just had to fix that issue. So pretty sure that's the right hand there. It's a bit tricky to do, but I think the heart would be like that. Yeah. So... Now she's just given us kind of almost the okay symbol, or she can do like a half heart like people like to do in selfies. Cute. Anyway, her dress, also exceptional. I love the panel on the front, the little bows. This isn't an extra string. That's from the bow. That's how I tied on the bow. The butt bow. I love a big butt bow, by the way. The collar also has trim on it. The collars don't like to lay all the way down, so if you have an iron, that would help a lot if you ironed these before you put them on the dolls. And then she's got these big pearls that are sewn on the front to act like buttons, and you can see that all the trims continue all the way to the back. Because these dolls are centaurs, they have this big horse butt to consider, so that's why the Velcro doesn't go all the way down. The Velcro goes halfway down the back, as you can see. 
Uh, they can close all the way in the back, but it's a little difficult and I don't really mind because I want to accommodate the big bow. So again, you could tie the bow around the body and that's probably what they did for the promo shots, but I tied it around the belly because it made it stand up a little nicer for me. And I love the kind of like purpley, it's like a mute purple color, mute pink, mute purple. It's very pretty. And you can see this embedded glitter in the hair. Isn't this beautiful? The gradient from purple to blue, this really, really nice headband here. She's the only one that doesn't have any kind of fabric headpiece, by the way. Uh, and she's got these little flowers. Her hair has a braid in it that comes to the back and you can see a little bit hanging out there. It's cute with a little purple bow with a ton of glitter in the little divots. And then her bow is another one of the organza bows. There's only two that don't have the satin bows. And yeah, it's really nice. It almost looks like one of those bows that has wire in it, but it does not. It just has a braided uh, finishing on the edges. She's darling. She's darling. And now I will not mess with her hands or head anymore, at least for the foreseeable future. So she's safe for now. All right. So that was gorgeous dreams, by the way. Next, we're going to be looking at eccentric dreams, I think. No, sorry. This is light dreams. This is light dreams. No, eccentric's the one that looks eccentric. Sorry. So this is light dreams and she has the little apron as well. So only two of them came with the aprons and the two that have the aprons have pretty different styles of dresses on like you can see this one has the long poofy sleeves with the the aprons are not even that similar you can see that this one's a little half circle and this one's very square god that's so nice it's so so nice with a big bow uh so they both have the big bow but they're quite different styles which is pretty cool I love her. I love her. Okay. So she also has these little ears that are sewn onto her headpiece, which I love. I wish they all had the little ears. And I love the way that they did this area of the headband as well. It's just really, really nice. So detailed and pretty. And her hair is the shinier finish. So only one of them had the see-through finish, which was that one. But this one has that like really shiny finish that two of them in the series have. And you can see, like, her part line going backward. It's just really, really cute. I, I usually will prefer, like, the majority of the time, I definitely prefer dolls that have rooted on hair. But I definitely think that there's a lot of benefits to having sculpted hair like this. And these dolls rock. These dolls truly, truly rock. Love the little unicorn horn. Love the eyes also. The faces are so pretty. I, have, I haven't even been pointing those out because I feel like that goes without saying on these. Her wings hold on very, very nicely. Again, like, they don't fall off which is super fantastic. Also, the tails are poseable and don't fall off, which I'm so, so grateful for. I also love just how poseable these dolls are. Like, you can get some really amazing poses with them. Oh, the heart shape. The hooves are like that heart shape on the bottom. They're so cute. That's kind of what hooves already look like, but like a lot of horse toys will just make them circular. Anyway, precious. I love the little bows on the sleeves, by the way. It's just so above and beyond. So, so cute. So that is light dreams next we're gonna look at dazzling dreams this doll is so amazing so she has this amazing dark red color scheme and oh my god isn't it amazing i think it looks so good with the kind of strawberry blonde ish hue her hair has look at her that blushed ear is so so cute so so cute She's super, super, they're all the same skin tone, which I'm pretty bummed about because the last series did have different skin tones, so I wish that they had done that in the series, but she looks paler than the others just because of how dark and saturated her outfit colors are. I wish more of them had more saturation to their color scheme like this one because I think it really makes a striking, beautiful look to the dolls. Just look at her. And especially these two. I know they want them to be see-through, but I wish that more of them were dark like this because I just... It really, really makes her stand out. She almost looks like she doesn't go to the series, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I love the little panels on the skirt. It's gathered in the spots that don't have the panels. I love, love the fabric that they use for the panels. So, so cute. And this little puffball trim underneath is absolutely darling. Oh, it's really cute. And just the part that you're not supposed to see is super cute. And even this trim here, like, there's so many details like that. It's amazing, amazing. Oh, you're probably supposed to put these like behind that hair, huh? Anyway, I love her satin ribbon. It's the best color. This has the wire in it, which is exceptional. And she just has simple bows on the back. Just such nice shading in the hair too. All right, 
we've got one more centaur to look at and i think she is actually my favorite in the series her name kind of predisposed me to like her but if her outfit and everything wasn't my favorite then she wouldn't have ended up being my favorite but this is eccentric dreams and again these names aren't the exact names like translated from chinese these are provided by giga goods which is so so cool and appreciated so her name is something like weird dream or eccentric dream and I'm, I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. So I think this is my dream centaur, whatever they're... I can't wait to read the lore about these because I'm, I'm wondering if they, like, actually live in the dream world and, like, control dreams somehow or if they just represent them and that's just a thing. I don't know. We'll read about it. We'll see. She's so, so pretty. I love the style that they did for the eyes. It's so pretty. And her hair is the shiny finish, which isn't my favorite actually. I like the super see-through and the matte. I don't generally like the shiny, but I think it really works with her color scheme. I love the blue to green. Again, we do have three that have a very similar hair color in this series, especially these two, but I think they all stand out really nicely in their own way, which is really good because I was kind of worried actually, because I feel like the three blue ones look like they're from a series and then the three other ones look like they're from a complete separate series. It's very interesting. So cute. I love the braided bun she has too so so cute and then her bow again i think it, it it like screams mermaid to me so i'm really excited because there are mermaid dolls coming soon from one of these chinese bjd companies that kika goods has been posting about so they should be getting them in stock i think they're made by lucky doll but don't quote me on that but anyway i kind of want to give this little bow even this outfit would be very cute on a mermaid uh, i do need to adjust what i did because i tied the bow around the body as you know but it made like the ribbon is kind of showing over the dress which I don't want but this dress is definitely my favorite in this entire series it's probably the least intricate dress in the entire series though I will say it's just this ribbon piece at the top it has ribbon straps as well there's a ribbon under there that you don't need to be concerned with <laughs> um, it has a little bow tied right here this is a fabric that is just kind of pleated I don't know but it's amazing it's amazing you can see kind of how it works under there and then there's just this little ruffle on here. So that's it. All the other ones have a lot more going on. But this one, I just love the shape of it. I think it's so cute. And then her, I'm, I'm actually not going to have her wear it, but I did it for this video. She, I like this piece, but I definitely think the nightgown effect is better without this piece on. But I appreciate that they provide it because if she didn't have it, her outfit would definitely be the most lackluster by far. And of course, that's not ideal so cute and then her wings stay on super super well despite that there's two layers here this layer is a lot thinner than that fabric was so i understand why it's staying on better but it is very appreciated that they stay on so well and they really you see how they snap into place really nicely it's awesome 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 and the bow tie around the neck i had trouble making look cute so sorry about that <laughs> um i just love her i just love her i absolutely love these so definitely this one is my favorite one definitely i think these three are the standouts for me of course we don't know what these secret ones look like you can see them i'm not going to put them in this video in case people don't want to be spoiled on what those look like but um kika goods does provide photos of those thank goodness by the way because with some of the other series when i was adding them to doll act which is an interactive doll database it is free to use there's no ads or anything i don't profit from it i just lose money on it but i um founded it so that it could be a really good like resource for doll collectors and stuff and i worked on the series two of these girlies like so they have an article on doll act so you can read more about them and anyway kika goods rocks for providing like translated images and stuff because that's super helpful for doll act as well um but anyway that is it for this video i would love to know what you guys think of these dolls i I am so in love with them. I am so, so grateful again to Kika Goods for sending me these dolls for free so that I could review them for you guys. Uh, these dolls, I feel like for the price that they charge for the dolls. So again, I if you like these a lot or if you want like a specific character, I recommend buying the full box because the full box guarantees you every character unless you get the secret one. Um, so that right now is $174, which for the six dolls, I think is actually a really, really good price very very fair considering they're an import the level of detail and quality to these the low quantity of them that they actually create because they are meant to be like limited collector dolls and i just i just love these art bjds i'm so glad that they are like kind of blowing up lately they've been making a ton there's tons of different companies trying to create something new with these and i just love that the the implication of an art bjd is that they can do so so much more than 
kind of a regular doll company can because they're art toys, you know? And I just, I just love these Chinese art toys. I love the non-doll versions too, but you know, the action figure or the doll will always be my favorite. I really have a lot of fun with these. But if you actually prefer like art toys that aren't dolls, like maybe you don't like these dolls, but you really like the idea of these centaurs, they actually do statues of these, which I'm desperate for. I'm thinking about buying them, but I'm not sure. Um, not 100% sure yet, but they're so cute. Uh, they, they're amazing. So there are also figures of these that you can get. Not these exact characters, they're other characters, but they are on the Tika Goods website. Again, these were sent to me for free. I'm not being paid for anybody using my link. It's just a link that Kika Goods provided so that you guys can use it. And they send me products occasionally. I assume it's based on how many people use the link, but I'm not really sure. They've never really said that. Um, but I don't make any kind of money off of these. I truly love them a lot. I would have bought them anyway. In fact, Kika Goods sent me the second series of Bonnie dolls. So I was going to buy these because I was like, I don't want to ask for like two sets of these dolls in a month. Like I felt like that was too much to ask for. Um, but then they randomly emailed me like, hey, we're sending you the centaurs. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so they both arrived, like the Bonnie dolls arrived a couple days ago and then these just got here. So uh, super grateful, super, super grateful to Kika Goods. They rock and I'm, I'm so grateful that they continue to work with me and help me make these reviews. So because uh, it, it gets pretty expensive to run a channel like this. Uh, but that's it for the, and have a collection like this. I would be buying a lot of dolls even if I didn't have a YouTube channel about it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'd love to know who your favorite one is. These are my two favorites. I love them a lot. Very different looks to them. Very, very different. Oh, and Kika Goods also sells extra little outfits for them. So uh, if you're looking for extra little outfits, they have some really nice ones. Uh, I'm really, I'm thinking about making an order soon on those specifically. It just depends. Just depends. Anyway, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!